Hello and welcome to possibly the most exotic and bougiest unboxing that I've ever done on my channel because as you can probably see it's not the usual setup that I'm currently filming this video. No no, we are currently in sunny Santorini in Greece and if you haven't been before or even if you have been you'll know this is a fantastic place. It's honestly like a picture postcard. Behind me is the Aegean Sea, there's some volcanic islands and things behind me but actually just to my right or your left there's all of the white domed churches and little caves and we're currently even staying in a cave. Our villa is absolutely incredible. In case you're interested in ever coming here to visit and stay then I highly recommend Fenari Villas in Ia I think. It's spelled like Oya but it's not. I think it's Ia is what I heard a local say so correct me if I'm wrong locals down in the comments and our villa even has a jacuzzi and two balconies one of which I'm filming this video here right about now so if you see people walking by it's because this is kind of a semi-public area of where the residents can walk so I'll try my best to crop things out but yeah that's also why I'm keeping my voice slightly quieter than usual especially with the sunset going to happen very soon I think this will be very busy so I'm gonna need to wrap this up real quick but I wanted to while I was out here in the sunshine I wanted to show you guys these two babies right here because they're very exciting purchases that have been made while on this holiday and it's a great timely trip that I have to Greece because I've actually had a friend get married in Greece with a beautiful ceremony in Athens and thought actually why not to just go and make a full trip out of it which is why I'm here also in Santorini I had also recently just visited Crete so I went Crete Athens for the wedding and then Santorini so that's a little bit of valuable context as to why these bags are currently here right now these beautiful and mysterious Chanel bags because actually there is a Chanel boutique in Athens and while myself and my mother who's accompanied me for this trip this time around while we were in Athens we thought why not check out one of the few benefits that Brexit has yielded us and that is tax-free shopping. Now I'll probably do a separate video on this because I haven't fully completed the Global Blue tax-free process and I don't want to speak too soon. Touch wood, touch wood, because I want to make sure that all goes through first but we've bought these bags with the intent to get tax refunds so that's why we went to the Chanel in Athens and it's called Chanel Linear Pew I believe and it is not like a normal Chanel boutique, it's like a, I think the salesperson described it as like a Harrods kind of style. They stock other brands as well as Chanel, but they do look like a Chanel storefront and it's legit before anyone asks. So while we were in Linear Pew, we picked up two bags, so we just wanted to take a whole loop of the store. They have bags ready to wear and shoes and we settled on these two items right here, which I think are the most classic and I think are the most exciting. So I'll open my mum's one up first because full disclosure, these two are not both of my bags, only one is, one is my mum's, but she was actually, as you all know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, my mum is basically the reason why I have such expensive taste for things in life. She's probably, as you could say by extension, the reason why this channel exists. She's very kindly said that I can unbox hers on this channel, but actually as a side note, if you guys want her on this channel in the future, drop a comment below and Mama Melancello can come on this channel. She's a little bit camera shy, but if enough of you peer pressure her, we will do a healthy peer pressure, then maybe she'll come on. I should probably mention actually that this is soft packaging because we're obviously traveling. And so the easiest thing by that extension is to get packaging that is, you know, essentially Ikea self-packed. So what you can see here, I won't take it all out, is you can see a box that is essentially one you need to pack yourself, but it's super easy. I've done, it. I've done it before, so it's really not that bad. And actually it makes the whole travel experience so much easier because you just have to otherwise accommodate for a massive set of boxes. So this is my mum's bag. I believe it's my mum's bag. It's a bit smaller than the bag that I got. My mum's choice is super, super stunning and unique and I've never actually seen anything quite like this in stores so far. I would actually love to know in the comments below after you've seen this bag, if you've seen it around, because I certainly haven't. Let me open this up as best I can without messing everything up, because I know she's super keen to use it, which is why she was very keen that I filmed this unboxing and shared it with you guys out here. Get rid of this tissue paper. We've got two items here. Oh, three actually. Oh, three items. Which now makes me think, once you see this item, because it's, as you can see, it's a white bag, which can only mean one thing, a classic flap. 
when I got my classic map, I didn't get two booklets, so I'm very keen to see what these two are because that means I've been swindled a bit. So, let me open the first one. The first one is a booklet we're all familiar with if we all know about classic flaps, and that is the uh, care mitt and the kind of care booklet as well. And this booklet is one that I haven't gotten for my last one, so I'm a little bit miffed about that. And I'm assuming this is the stuff about the history of the bag. Yeah, it's the iconic bag, the sec icon, I think. And it's talking about the handbag and how it was made, I think, in multiple different languages. Let me open her up. See if you can guess before I do what this is. And here we have a beautiful grey iridescent classic bat. And you know what? I'm going to try and slide out. No, I can't slide her out. I cannot do it. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm going to have to rip her. I tried to be gentle. I did. I actually did. Let me bring her close to you so you can fully appreciate the beauty. I mean, actually, it's probably good that we're out in the sun because then you can see really the iridescent pop. And I think it's like a grey steel iridescent classic flap in the medium size. And we also have beautiful silver, almost gunmetal hardware. So it gives it a really nice modern feel, just like classic look. And this is also in, I believe, calf skin leather so very very durable that was something that i knew for my mum was a non-negotiable ideally she'd be the one telling you why she got this bag but we'll leave that for another video so comment below if you want a mama on here let me just open her up i'm sure you've seen many of these before and i won't try and like go in and dig through because this is my mum's bag i want her to be able to enjoy it and everything and take everything out but oh some of the the felt has fallen out and i'm not quite sure how to put it back in i believe it falls over the top but let me just put this on my lap while I show you the interior. So same obviously suspect as my classic flap as well but actually one fundamental difference which I do want to try and show you if I can is they no longer have the physical authenticity cards so on the inside where you usually in the back pocket find an authenticity card our sales associate actually mentioned to us that there is now a little metal tag. Hopefully what you can see here, what I'm touching and tapping with my little finger here, is the metal tag, which may be a blessing, maybe a little bit for the sentimental among us, something that we actually just wish we had as a separate thing because now we just need to bathe your bags even more if you, if you get my drift. I think it's a really stunning choice. She's a little bit hesitant at the beginning because I think she thought it was a bit too modern or grungy with the silver, but Actually, she hasn't got a classic flap in her collection. This was one of the few that were brought out that were in calf skin because the rest are in lamb skin, which although I love so much and the most fun and vibrant colors come in lamb skin, it's really not that good in the long term in terms of our lifestyles to have something so delicate. I know it works for some, maybe in the future, that's something that my mum could go down in terms of that route. She's a little bit more careful than I am, but for the time being, we thought actually something that is gonna be you know, a bit more practical, as well as obviously having a bit of pop of colour of sorts, something a bit more modern. But I do think it's a really good choice, especially for the quilted style. I think to have something that is very classic looking, potentially in like a black or, an, or a nude beige, would be a little bit too, what's the word? Like archaic, is that the right word? Or mature, mature is the word I'm going for. Maybe archaic was a bit too strong, but I think this is quite modern and versatile. Grey is also a neutral of sorts, and so I think she could wear it all year round. And it's a really good size for her height as well. She's a little bit shorter than me, but actually she can fit tons of things in here and it won't look too oversized on it. So let me just go ahead and take the bag that I've got out because I want to do this kind of as quick as possible because as you can see, the sun is setting and that fell off. The sun is setting and we've got a dinner reservation and I need to tidy all the stuff away and I'm also kind of concerned that people will just keep walking past or potentially even try and grab a bag and so in which case if people are listening I know martial arts okay this is a bag that I haven't yet added to my collection as you can probably tell with the collection that I currently have I kind of have like one of each I've never actually mentioned my thoughts on this particular bag but I know a lot of you guys rate it a lot so I'm sure big Chanel aficionados out there will be very happy that I've added this bag to my collection, which should be a dead giveaway of sorts. But anyway, let me just do 
the reveal right here. And there's a ton of tissue paper as a side note in the corner and I'm kind of scared that it'll blow away, but we'll see. So again, we have the three booklets. So it really does confirm that I was uh, shortchanged a booklet with the other classic flap. And this one, again, care knit. And this one is the same booklet, I think, as the one my mum bought. The bag that I got is a Chanel reissue, or the 2.55, as it is more commonly known. We're just gonna have to go in there and rip her out. Screw it. What we have here is the Chanel reissue in the large size, or the jumbo, if you wanna use, interchange the terms with the Chanel classic flap. And it's in this gorgeous, like, peachy apricot color, and it's got gold, hardware here and i'll probably make a dedicated video on this just to show you a bit around and pair it against the classic flap obviously the 2.55 the reissue came first and is what gabrielle or coco chanel actually dreamed up herself whereas the classic flap is one that carl lovefeld reinvented so just a quick trivia for those that didn't know though i imagine most of you do that what is something that you probably have not seen at least many of is the interiors and this interior is not like any other classic lab or classic bag interior because this is bam dual tone so this is a very special edition 2.55 reissue because it's got this beautiful navy kind of a little bit electric blue interior which i've never seen before i know they've done it for classic flaps on some of them which is quite special i've even seen some purple ones before love it it just gives a little nice pop of color isn't it for an otherwise very classic looking bag very similar obviously to what the classic flap has so i won't labor the details because this is probably something you've seen before but actually something worth noting is that i believe this particular bag does have an authenticity card well for the time being I cannot find the damn thing which is only slightly concerning i suppose but i'll go for a proper dig in a bit and i will put on screen if i managed to find it or not and if i didn't well there'll be a very panicked phone call that i will be making while i am still in Greece and I cannot lock this damn thing up. There we go. I need to get used to the 2.55 closure, which is a little bit different. And I'll just make a quick mention as to why I chose the reissue bag. Obviously, it's not one that I've really talked about on the channel. I've never really voiced much of an opinion on it because obviously the classic wrap is the one that everybody really goes for, but having added a classic wrap to my collection very recently and having gotten a lot of the seasonal bags, I wanted to get something that was equally classic, but something that wasn't a double of what I already had. And when we were in the store, I tried on a bunch of seasonal bags, even looked at the other classic wraps in various sizes, but they were all in, first of all, they were in either lambskin or they were black or a bold neon color that I just would never wear. And so I didn't want to just get something for the sake of it, even if it was going to be tax free. Basically went around the whole store, tried everything on, and my mum actually was the one that pointed out, what about that bag? And so the sales associate brought this out, even compared with different other colors. There was a beautiful red as well, but it was quite bright red. And so it would probably not be much of a day bag in terms of the size as well. This obviously being a jumbo can fit a whole ton of stuff, which I definitely need because I always bring everything in the kitchen sink with me. And so this in red would have been a little bit more limited in its usage, I feel, because red seems to be like a going out kind of color or autumnal color. But this one in this apricot nudie color is something that I think can be used all year round. And it's a little bit different in terms of the other neutrals that I do have. This one is just the most gorgeous honey, apricot, peach color, delectable. And it's really timely actually and apt in this Greek weather that we're having and also the Greek cuisine as well. Those are the favorite things I've been eating so far here. So it's really gonna remind me of this holiday, which is really, really nice. And also just a classic bag that's actually going to go up in value. And considering the climate we're in, the price increase that we're in, it makes real sense to buy classic items, which is also why my mom got this bag, why I highly encouraged her to get this bag in this special colorway as well, because these are probably gonna be very, very coveted and they're already limited edition. These are obviously classic bags, but in seasonal styles that won't come back. So I think these would even do well on resale. If we ever were to go down there, obviously, I do not personally buy my bags to resell, but you know, it's always something worth thinking about when spending a significant amount of money. This is the two bags that we have here that we bought 
in Greece from the Athens boutique. Here is the quickest size comparison of all. I'll very quickly talk you through the prices of this because as potential UK residents, you might be interested to know what these things are going for at the moment or just before a price increase. So let me just quickly read them out to you before we then need to go and wrap this up because I don't want my camera to overheat because Lord knows it's hot and it could very well happen. So like I mentioned, I will probably do a separate video or an update on how I get on with actually the tax refund because that's really, let's be honest, cause phase paid. That's the only reason why we bought our bags because if you're not going to get the tax refund, it's actually working out to be more expensive, even in euros converted to pounds. Let me start with my mom's bag first in terms of pricing, and it's gonna be read out to you in euros. So these prices, I'll talk about this one before tax. So this one is the flat bag, classic in the seasonal color, and this one goes for a whopping, and this is why I mentioned you gotta get it tax free, otherwise it's not worth buying outside, 7,190 euros. And I hope there's no thieves coming around here because we're gonna need to lock this stuff up real tight. <laughs> I'll put the actual conversions if I can find them. Uh, so that is significantly more expensive than UK, but the tax amount is actually 1,391.61 euros. So actually with that deducted, the bag comes to 5,798 euros 39 cents. So that is roughly, I think, 5,100 or 5,200 pounds, which actually does work out cheaper. For reference, the classic flap that I had gotten from the Harrods Boutique in London was about 5,700, I believe, pounds. So this is significantly cheaper once we get the tax refund back. So it is worth doing if you're gonna be out here anyway, because this tax rate is actually 24%. So it's really a significant amount of money that you would be saving. Anyway, let's talk about this bag right here, the 2.55 V reissue, also seasonal style. I believe as a side note, both of these were from the last collection or maybe even the autumn winter. They're definitely not current collection though, is what I was told. They're very limited stock of the current collection, but also the colors were very dark, burgundies and blacks and things. We didn't need more black bags in our life, so. This was just something that I think we both agreed would be a better choice. And this bag pre-tax was a little bit more expensive than my mum's, obviously because this is a jumbo large size, that's medium. And this one actually was originally 7,770 euros. The tax rate on this one was 1,503. 0.87 euros and so with that deducted the new price will hopefully be 6266 pounds and 13 pence so big big savings all round and i'm really hoping that we manage to get all this paperwork sorted anyways i'm going to wrap this video up right about now because people are coming out of the sunset there are drones flying around people are walking around and i feel damn weird doing this out in public so i'm gonna stop this right about now and go also get changed for dinner but hopefully you found this change of scenery really really refreshing let me know your thoughts on the bags down below and i will see you in the next one